Do you know that fish ponds are still pleasant in Hong Kong? Do you know that Yunlong once produced high-quality green mullets, which were must in the banquets? All these are true, but do you know what a fish pond is and how important it is to us? Actually, a fish pond is different from other typical natural ecosystems like rivers or oceans, since it is an artificial ecosystem which requires constant human effort to maintain its functioning. Everything starts with the input of fish food. The fish at the top first feed on the fish food, and then their feces will sink to the lower water layer, and will then become the fish food for the fish living in the lower water layer. Besides, the feces are nutrient-rich fertilizers, which can trigger the growth of algae. Since polyculture, which means different fish species, are kept inside a fish pond, is adopted. The algae can be another important food source for herbivorous fish species, for example, common carp. At the end of the year, the water level of the fish ponds will be lowered for around 14 days in the winter, in order to concentrate the fish inside for easy harvesting. So why are fish ponds so important to us, and why should they be protected? First, we cannot always rely on importing food from China, so we need to establish our own self-sufficiency. Still remember the issue of Malachi Green in 2005? The freshwater fish from China were found to contain this carcinogenic chemical, so all exports of freshwater fish from China to Hong Kong were banned, and we just got not enough fish to eat. Second, fish ponds can provide food for birds. Still remember the water level of fish ponds is lowered every winter? This allows the birds to catch those fish and streams inside the fish ponds easily. That's also why the lovely back faces boombills have also chosen Hong Kong for wintering. However, pondfish farming industry is now clearly declining. The area of fish ponds in 2000 was only a half of that in 1986. That's due to the sharp decrease of pondfish farming households from 500 to 300 from the mid 90s to the mid 2000. Besides, the average age of fishermen was 58 already, even in 2001. That means no new generations are willing to enter this industry. So, what problems are local fish ponds facing? The first problem is urban development. The government has started the New Town Development Project in Tin Shui Wai to turn plenty of fish ponds into public housing estates in order to meet the housing need of the increasing population. Also, Many fish pond owners found difficulties in making a living by pond fish farming, so they start to turn their fish ponds into container storage sites or car parks. The second problem is the fishman's opposite attitude towards birds. The old fishmen usually think that birds will eat lots of their fish so their income will be at fat. So they set up some bird traps like horse and nest to kill the birds. But the fact is that, usually, only the very small sized non-commercial fish is preyed, so their income will be only slightly at fat. So, what can we do to help this industry? First, buy more locally produced freshwater fish. If the fish pond owners can make a living by selling freshwater fish, then they will not quit this industry, and youngsters may be even attracted to enter this industry. Second, voice out your opinion when there is any environmental consultation from the government on developing fish ponds. Then, you should show your objection if you know how important fish ponds are. Public opinion can always be a strong power to change the government's decisions. Third, support fish pond ecotourism. You can join the workshop together held by the fish pond owners and the Hong Kong Birdwatching Society to experience the local fish pond culture. Your participation fee will be there another important source of income. I hope that now you know more about the importance of fish ponds. And let's make an effort together to protect these valuable environmental resources. Created using Powtoon.